Hello guys, welcome to Learning Microcontrollers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to interface a PIC16 f 7 a microcontroller with an IR receiver sensor for fire detection. So let's get started. This is our PIC16 f 7 a having 40 pins. It's a DIL version. This is the IR receiver I'm talking about. It has only two pins. One pin is the in and other pin is the ground. You can shuffle these two pins as you like, doesn't matter. To interface this with a PIC, you need a 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now let me show you how to connect it. Connect the first IN pin with the 5 volt pin of the PIC. You need to give it 5 volt, that is VCC pin. Then from the ground pin, you take out your ADC output. You can use any available ADC channel. I am using pin A0, that is, that is pin number 2. Then the same ground pin goes to one end of the 10K resistor and then from the other end of the resistor, it goes to ground. Now for the purpose of calibration, calibrating the sensor for output and also to display the output, I am going to use this LCD. This is a cheap LCD, 16 into 1 LCD with no backlight. It, it will need a 10 kilo ohm variable resistor for the purpose of adjusting the contrast. This LCD has 16 pins, 1 to 16 from left to right if you hold it like this. Let's do the connections. Pin 1 and 5 of the LCD will go to pin 1 of the variable resistor from then there it goes to common ground. Then pin number 2 is the adjustable pin. This goes to pin number 3 of the LCD. Pin number 3 is the 5 volt pin of the variable resistor which goes to pin number 2, two of the LCD. From there it goes to 5 volt pin of the PIC16 f 7 a microcontroller. So in this way you give 5 volt to the variable resistor, 5 volt to the LCD, 5 volt to the IR from PIC and then you give main 5 volt to the PIC. Then pin number 4 is the RS pin. You can use any available digital input output pin of the PIC. For this I am using C0 that is pin 15. Pin 6 go enable goes to C1. Pin data pin 4 that is 11 goes to C2 of the PIC. D5 to C3, D6 to D0 and D7 to D1 of the PIC. So guys in this way our connections are complete. Rest of the pins 7, 8, 9, 10 are for 8-bit mode while we are using 4-bit mode and 15 and 16 for backlight while, while this LCD has no backlight. So what I am going to do is that I am going to use an LED at B7. When there is no fire, our IR sensor will receive random values and will display them on the LCD. And when there is fire, it will show some other values. Then we will use this these values to calibrate the LCD in such a way that when there is no fire, LCD will display normal and LED will remain off. But when there is fire, LED will turn on and LCD will display fire. So let's do the programming of the simple project. Let's get to micro C4 PIC. Okay guys, this is micro C4 PIC. Go to new, new project. Let me zoom it in. Click on next. Here you write the name of your project. I write infrared, infrared LM learning microcontroller. I'm using PIC16 F77A, a 20 megahertz crystal. Click on next, 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 next. That's it, fine. Now, first of all, we need to initialize the LCD. For that purpose, go to this library manager there you have LCD here you have LCD INIT command click on it here you can see there is an example of initializing a 4-bit LCD you copy this pin uh, pin out setting and direction setting and you place it above the main one time loop like like this see it is placed above the loop now you need to give the values according to you are going to use the LCD. For RS pin, we are using pin number C0. For enable, we are using C1. For D7, we are using D1, D0, C3 and C2. Do the same for directions. For RS, C0, C1, D1, D0, C3 and C2. In this way, our LCD parameters are set. Use this command to initialize LCD, LCD, INIT. This will initialize LCD, give some initialization delay. One second is enough. Now, since we are using ADC pins as well, we will need to initialize the ADC module. For that, use this command. All the ADC pins will be initialized now. You can use the ADC pins as you like, give some initialization delay. We also have an LED. We will need to initialize it as well at b dot f7 port b pin number 7 0 it's declared output now give it the initial state that is 0 that it should be off give some initialization delay 100 is good so in this way led is initialized as output 
initial state is zero and it is initialized ADC modules are initialized now we need to go to the forever loop write this forever loop starts here ends here give it some good shape okay first of all we will need, need to receive the values from the sensor for that we will need a float variable float rec1 will receive the value from the sensor since LCD cannot display floats directly we will need to convert it to a string so this jar having four like it has five strings it can support five strings it will be converted to this to display it on the LCD LCD can only display jars it cannot display floats directly so first of all we used go to library manager there go to ADC here you have this ADC read you go there you copy this command ADC read minimize it so here we have rec1 as a variable and this is the channel we are using channel 0 pin number a0 give some initialization delay in this way we will receive the ADC value from the sensor it will store the value from a0 channel now to display it on the LCD we need to convert it to string use this command float to str rec1 to rec11 okay the value in this will be converted to a string to be displayed on the LCD give some delay 50 is good now display it on the LCD to display on the LCD you will need this command LCD out CP we are using the cursor and rec11 this will be displayed on the screen give some delay for how long you want to keep it displayed I think half second is enough and now we will need to clear the LCD after the values are displayed so for the new values go here go to LCD CMD there it is a command LCD CMD clear this clears the screen for the new values so after the values displayed it will clear the screen for new values also it is better that in the one time loop we place this if there are any ragback values when the LCD is initialized it will be cleared before running of the program so now this is our code we will be using build it click on this button to build it there are no errors so let's get to a hardware demonstration there is no error let's run this so guys this is our hardware this is the LCD 16 into 1 with no backlight this is PIC 16 fa 77 a microcontroller and this is infrared receiver sensor I am using and this is a 10k resistor so guys connections are as shown in the presentation let me burn the code first of all you go there build the code in case it is not built then go to Picket C programmer here you select file import I infrared LM this is a code click on write see the code is being written let it write the code this is the LED I'm gonna use to display to you as shown in the presentation when there is light in the room when there is no light in the room so here we go the code is burned now we give 5 volt from the picket 3 click on on button okay the 5 volts are being given so here you can see we are getting some values when there is no fire at this time there is no fire and we are getting some values like 8 9 10 but when we bring fire in front of it let's see what happens okay here comes the fire see when the fire comes values change when no fire values drop with the fire values change as you can see no fire values are like below 300 but when there is fire even somewhat away it starts detecting it see fire is here it is still getting some different values but when fire goes near like here values go above 300 so we can take a good parameter that fire is at a considerable distance at 300 so we use 300 as our threshold that when it is above 300 it means that there is fire so guys we do that if rec1 is greater than 300 then it means there is fire then LED port B dot F7 is on simple that when there is fire LED will turn on and then else else means there is no fire so port B dot F7 equals to 0 like this so when there is fire 
LED turns on when there is no fire LED turns off and when there is fire LED LCD displays fire like this as and when there is no fire and when there is no fire LED LCD displays normal so when the values are below 300 it means there is no fire it displays normal and when there is fire it displays fire so let me show you see when rec1 value being received is greater than 300 it will display fire and LED will turn on and when there is no fire below like it is not above 300 else any other value below 300 it's normal and LED will remain off now since the calibration is done we no longer need to con do the float conversions we no longer need to display it on the screen we no longer need these so let's rebuild the code and re-burn it when I click on this button to build the code code is built now we burn it again here is our previous code working so we go to this just click on write the code is already selected see it's burning again let it burn okay the code is burned again and it's working let's see what happens okay it's showing normal that's good because there is no fire here right now it's normal so it's good now we bring the fire see what happens LED is off and IR is displaying normal now there comes the fire okay fire is brought near see it turns on and it displays fire when fire is away normal and when fire comes near it displays LED is on and displays fire okay let, let's do this again when fire goes near it displays fire and LED turns on when away normal and LED is off see so guys it's working as shown you in the presentation so you can make this project it's very cheap and easy to make so guys thank you very much for your time and I hope you guys learned something from from this video so have a nice day and bye